is well. I hope all is well. My name is Allison, certified dating and relationship coach, and I primarily work with busy professional women to move them from frustrated with dating to happily married. And can I tell you that the number one biggest issue that these women face, women just like me, busy professional women, is this. They do not believe that this can happen for them. This meaning loving, committed relationship that leads to marriage. I know you're thinking, Allison, you're bugging. That's me. I'm the busy professional woman you're talking to. That's why I'm on your page. And I absolutely believe that this can happen. No, you don't. At least subconsciously. Why? You are accustomed to winning. You are accustomed to success. Everything that you touch doesn't turn to gold. It turns to platinum. You whiz through school. It was a joke. I, I tell my friends jokingly but not jokingly that a master's program is a joke. Easy peasy, chicken greasy, right? Literally. 4.0 GPA, and I did not try. And I don't even think I'm the brightest of the bunch, right? You whiz through school. You were able to build your own business or build your career and 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 climb the corporate ladder without having to sleep with nobody, without having any hookups from a friend or loved one. You did, you have done this legitimately. You are successful. You win. You show up. You show out. You speak well. You smell good. You look good. It has been effortless for you to win in your life. But this thing, love, dating, relationships, compatibility, um, all of the things you have not been successful in. And so subconsciously, you are not giving it your all because you are afraid that if you do indeed give it your all, you will fall flat on your face and you've never experienced that before. Even if it took some time, you end up winning. This thing here is more complicated because it's more than just you showing up and showing out. It's more than just you staying up all night to build a new website. It's more than just you staying up all night to study for an exam so you can pass the bar. It's more, it's more than that. It's you and somebody else coming together to create this thing called the healthy, happy relationship that potentially leads to marriage. And so now that we've added another human being into the mix, that complicates it. That's what you think. But let me tell you the reality. The reality is all of the success that you've had thus far in your life, honest to goodness, you have not done all on your own. There's been someone or something or, or God that has guided you, that has supported you to that win. The fact that you were able to get into that school, who knows who read your, your essay, who was moved by you, who looked out for you. Who knows about what professor, sometimes we literally don't know when we're winning. Like sometimes we just win in the back end and don't even know. A professor who allowed you to pass knowing that you didn't write that essay legitimately and knowing that you plagiarized, right? But they always liked you, so they looked out for you. Allowing you to get into a class that you had no business getting into. Um, allowing you some schools, putting you on a payment plan so you can get through and get your tuition done. Uh, a classmate who allowed you to use their books so that you didn't have to pay for your own because you couldn't afford them. A roommate who allowed you to get over on the rent because you weren't making enough because you were busy studying. A colleague who, who took the brunt of, of something that you did wrong and didn't snitch you out so that you were able to climb that ladder, not get in trouble, get that promotion. There are so many times that you have won quietly. There's so many times that people have looked out for you. There are so many opportunities that the door opened for you that's beyond just the work that you did. You did not do this by yourself. You had parents who allowed you to live rent-free in their house. You had parents who showed you what it looks like to lose and allowed you to be able to say to yourself, I'm never going to be like them. You did not do this all by yourself. And so that's where the fear comes in. You didn't do all that you've gotten done by yourself, and you won't get this done by yourself either. Yes, you have to do it with a partner. Yes, you have to do it with a boyfriend. Yes, you have to do it with a husband. But the difference is, is that you're going to be just as strategic as you were professionally, just as strategic as, you, as you've been educationally. You are going to approach your love life the same way with strategy. You're going to be clear on exactly what you're looking for romantically in the partner and in the relationship. You are going to go to strategic events where you are around like-minded people. You're just not going to the club willy-nilly. You're going to specific events with like-minded people, equally yoked people who want the same things as you. You are going to do a thorough vetting process. You are not going to turn your mic up Turn, turn it up, turn the speakers up. You are not going to date more than one person at a time. The computer did not freeze. The internet is not slow. 
dating is data. We're gathering information in a non-committed relationship because everything is a relationship. We're relating right now, right? So I'll throw in the word relationship, but you're not in a committed one to assess if someone's a right fit for you. Why are you seeing them and only them? That's not your man. And guess what? Just like we talked about before with situationships, they will be quick to throw that shit in your face too when it's time. That suits them. Do not commit yourself to someone who has not committed themselves to you. You should be dating more than one person to gather information to assess if they are the right fit for you and vice versa. You wouldn't go on one job interview. You wouldn't apply for one job, go on one job interview, wait weeks, see if you hear back. Half the time they're so nasty they don't even let you know that they've given the job to somebody else. And then start again. No, you want to do three or four cover letters. You want to edit your resume three or four times to fit three or four different positions. You're going to submit that resume. You're going to wait for the callback. You're going to go on multiple interviews. You will be either interested in the job or not. They will be either interested in you or not. You can decide whether or not the two of you want to move forward. And then once you have taken the job and signed on the dotted line of your contract, of what the salary is, what the benefits are, what you have to do to show up as your best self, what they need to do to show up as their best selves. You come to an agreement, you sign on the dotted line. Now you're not going on no more interviews. Now you're deleting all the emails that you get from Indeed. Now you're not even engaging an email to send a follow-up thank you because you don't care because you've made your final decision. But in the meantime, in the in-between time, what you need to do is to treat your dating life just like you treated every other element of your life with strategy. You can do this. I believe in you. I need you to believe that you can do this and you are deserving and you can have everything. You don't have to be only limited to maybe I'll just be the rich aunt. Maybe I'll just be you know, the pillar of my community. Maybe I'll just be the representation of what black girls can do if they persevere. And I can have my family. And I can break generational curses. And I can be a mother. And I can be a wife. And I can serve my family. My family can serve me. You can have it all. You just need a strategy. If you need help with that strategy, make sure that you book a 15-minute consultation with me so we can discuss the partner you deserve, which is my six-month coaching program. I have moved over 250 people from disappointed, discouraged, frustrated with dating to happily married. So make sure you click the link below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and do all the things here as well. It has been a pleasure. I hope that you have gotten some valuable gems that you can actually execute on so that you can be found by the partner that you deserve. Have a good one.